Did you ever get inspired by a lovely view? This is the view that inspired me. But let me give you some context. This is the view from a small, tiny village from the window of my clinic. I spent quite a number of hours working in front of that church. But let me tell you a bit about Malta. Malta is a bilingual country. It's hot, we love beaches, and we love traditions. So while working in that clinic, I had the opportunity to work with 18 students with Down syndrome. I worked on their language skills, but then I felt with some of them I needed to move on to their literacy skills. So as a traditional Maltese, I went back to my old university books and I looked at what the literature was selling me and implemented it in my clinic. But what the students were so showing me was something different from what I had read in the books. My students could blend, could syllabify, could identify phonemes. Were they doing something different from what we, are, we were taught that they should do? So this is where my investigation started. I set out with a number of questions. I wanted to look into the how do Maltese students with Down syndrome develop literacy skills. I wanted to look into the sub-skills. What is going on at home and at school? And can they read in two languages? Because we all read in two languages in Malta. It took me long, but I did manage to find some answers. The samples showed me that Maltese individuals with Down syndrome have very good word reading abilities, but also non-word reading abilities. Possibly this is associated with the strong phonological awareness skills that I found in this sample and our orthographic system and also our mainstream schooling because most of the students with Down syndrome attend mainstream schooling. But I, another thing that I found which contrasted with the traditional literature is that visual processing was very weak. Was I wrong here? But this is what my sample say, was saying. What I also found, which was very interesting, I found 16 individuals who could successfully read in two, in, in two languages, Maltese and English. This is very rarely import, uh, reported in Down syndrome. I also found out that the home, and literacy the home literacy environment and the school environment could play on this interplay between two languages. Many read in Maltese at home, while many read in English at school, giving an input from two languages um, in the same, in different contexts. So after all this, what can I recommend to my colleagues? I can recommend that you work on your phonological awareness, work on the phonological awareness skills. Do not just rely on the visual method of literacy. Give the students the tools to decode.